I want to address the assessments of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction and how they were presented to support the case for action. There was an ingrained belief in the UK policy and intelligence communities that Iraq had retained some chemical and biological capabilities, was determined to preserve and if possible enhance them, and in the future to acquire a nuclear capability, and was able to conceal its activities from the UN inspectors. In the House of Commons, on September the 24th, 2002, Mr. Blair presented Iraq's past, current, and future capabilities as evidence of the severity of the potential threat from Iraq's WMD. He said that at some point in the future, that threat would become a reality. The judgments about Iraq's capabilities in that statement and in the dossier published the same day were presented with a certainty that was not justified. <laughs>